Good morning, everyone. Here is Miles and Miles of Reptiles. All about reptiles. Oh, who's going to be our character in this story? Yes, Dr. Seuss. Let's check this out. Miles and Miles of Reptiles by Tish Robb, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz and Joe Matthew. Or Mathau. The Cat in the Hat, not Dr. Seuss. I'm the cat in the hat in my crocodile car. We're off to find reptiles, wherever they are. We'll find lizards and turtles, then travel for miles to see snakes, alligators, and real crocodiles. There are thousands of reptiles. I'll show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Look at that crocodile car. Up. Oh, what's in his nose? What are those? Those are the headlights. Reptiles breathe air. Most lay eggs on land. Some slither. Some swim. Some run on hot sand. Some reptiles have teeth. Some reptiles have tails. All reptiles have skin that is covered in scales. First, let's meet some lizards. Count them and you'll find more lizards than all other reptiles combined. Lizards have eyelids that open and close. Most lizards you'll see on each foot have five toes. We'll count my iguana toes later and see how many they have. This is similar to my iguana. When lizards are hungry, some things that they eat are plants, insects, snails, and other types of meat. There are all kinds of lizards. Would you ever think that there is a lizard that's known as a skink? So skinks, guys, have blue tongues. And we have skinks here in Georgia. Um, in fact, if we were at school, there's a family of skinks that live around the trash can um, on those concrete pieces and we'll see them and they've got blue tails and stripes going down their back. They're really cool looking little lizards. This is a glass lizard. It looks like a snake but call it a snake and you make a mistake. The world's largest lizard is here in our wagon. It can grow 10 feet long. It's a Komodo dragon. Reptiles are cold-blooded, but I have been told that this does not mean reptiles have blood that is cold. It means that their temperature changes a lot. They get cold when it's cold. They get hot when it's hot. How do lizards get warm? Why, thank you for asking. They lie in the sun, and that is called basking. So lizards can't make themselves warm. If they curl up in a blanket, it will not make them warm. They have to lay in the sun and absorb the sun's heat. So lizards will bask out in the sun. If you go lay out in the sun, you will be basking too. Meet my friend, the chameleon. He's hiding right here. He changes his color when danger is near. When he's scared, he turns dark and he stays out of sight. But his colors turn bright when he's ready to fight. Oh, they're having a standoff territory. A chameleon's tail has a powerful grip. It holds onto things so that it won't slip. One eye can look one way while one looks another. One eye looks at me, one looks at my brother. Chameleons. On the Galapagos Islands, we'll see something new. Iguanas! They're lizards. Here's what they do. They swim in the waves, and when they are done, they crawl on the rocks and get warm in the sun. Maybe I'll show you guys a picture of my lizard. They like to swim in the bathtub. They have glands that strain salt from salt water, and then they sneeze the salt out from their snoses again. Their noses. Yes, we call that a, a snalt. They snalt out the salt. By sneezing. Even my iguanas do that. I have to clean the edges, the sides of the cage where they do that. These lizards are geckos. Aren't they pretty? They live in the desert, rainforest, and city. Geckos are super cool. Look at their little toes. They have like these little sticky toes so they can climb on things. They have pads on their feet that are perfect for gripping. They can climb up a wall, even glass, without slipping. Why are they named gecko? 
thing one and I know. Some chirp and they squeak and it sounds like gecko. Come meet some snakes. When they move on the ground, the scales on their skin help them slither around. A snake's jaw is loosely attached on each side. This means it can open its mouth very wide. A snake smells with its tongue. He's showing us how. See it flick in and out? He's smelling right now. How do snakes avoid danger so they can survive? Here are some things that help snakes stay alive. Snakes may have striped spots or rings on their skin. They can hide in plain sight. Their skin helps them blend in. What's it called when they hide? Camouflage, yes. Some like a vine snake can fool you and me. It looks like a vine hanging down from a tree. If you hear a rattlesnake's tail start to rattle, it means I'd see you, so you better skedaddle. That's its warning. It shakes the rattle and says, I'm going to strike you. You're making me nervous. A cobra's a snake that's not very polite, and that is because of its poisonous bite. It should say venomous bite, shouldn't it, Reese? Reese and I agree. It's venomous, not poisonous. When it's angry, a cobra spreads out its big hood. If you see it, you'll know things are not looking good. Fangs hang from its jaw and punch holes in the skin. Then a poison called venom begins to flow in. So yes, venom is inside the fangs. And the snake has to bite you and it injects the venom into you. So you don't ever want to pick up any snake because you, you may not be sure what kind it is. But don't be scared of snakes. You be smart around snakes. Now meet turtles. Turtles! I love turtles. Each one has a shell. This hard shell protects it and does so quite well. Turtles heat up a nice sunny spot. Then slide into the water when they get too hot. Turtles are toothless so they cannot chew. They swallow food whole. That's all they can do. What is he eating? He's eating a jellyfish. Spooky's trying to help me read. She is like all over me this morning while I read our story. Here is a tortoise I happen to know. This reptile eats grass and it moves very slow. It looks like a turtle, but I understand. A turtle lives in water, a tortoise on land. So you guys, even though it's um, reading kind of quickly, turtles live in water. And tortoises live on sand. They're each adapted specially for those areas. Let's see if it tells us and then I'll explain it. About the tortoise, I discovered one thing. Each year of its life, its shell grows a new ring. Well, that's cool. So maybe you can tell how old a turtle is by the rings on its shells? Hmm. Turtles have four legs, but sea turtles like these have flippers to swim through the water with ease. They lay eggs on land, and each mom somehow knows which beach she was hatched on, so that's where she goes. So wherever this turtle hatched from, um, it'll go back to that same beach to lay its own eggs. It's very cool. It's like going back to the same hospital. When the babies are hatched, the shells on their backs are so soft they are helpless if something attacks. Yes, from the time they, they dig out of their eggs to the time they get in the ocean, they are very vulnerable. That means something can happen to them very easily. So they have to head straight to the ocean to be safe. We measured these babies. They're so very small. Their shells are just three inches long. And that's all. Aww. On the Florida coast in the Swamp or Lagoon, you may see a crocodile swimming by soon. Crocodiles have sharp teeth and they walk on four legs. Their feet have sharp claws. Their young hatch from eggs. There are crocs that can eat till they're filled up and then it could be months, even years, before they eat again. Yes, Spooky. Good morning. Alligators and crocodiles look alike, as you see. That's because they belong to the same family. We looked at them closely, and here's what we saw. The gator's teeth hang over its lower jaw. So you can always look at the teeth. 
If they hang down, it's a gator. If they go up and down like a zipper, it's a crocodile. They both live near water, and these reptiles glide by swinging their powerful tails side to side. If you look at their heads like we did, side by side, a croc's tail is thin and a gator's is wide. Oh, crocodile, alligator. Crocodile, alligator. They mate in the water. Then we understand the female comes out to lay eggs up on land. She digs a deep nest and she lays her eggs in it, laying 60 or so, about one every minute. Wow, that's a lot of eggs, guys. 60. When the babies are hatched, this is how small they are. Each one weighs as much as things one's candy bar. So a baby alligator is a really small lizard, but they don't stay small, do they? They grow very large, just like Miss Olivia's iguanas. They start off very small, but they get very large. Some people are very surprised at how big they can get. Reptiles are everywhere. Just look, you might see one down on the ground or high up in a tree. They come in all shapes and co all colors and sizes, and you will discover they're full of <gasps> surprises. This is a frilled lizard. You won't find one of those around here, but you will see a lot of what we call anoles. Those are the little green lizards. Um, sometimes they have red chests and red uh, necks. So this is the glossary. This just tells us what all the different words mean that were used in the story. Miss Olivia usually tries to explain what words are as we go through. All right, I know that was a long story, so I hope you liked that one. Later, Reese is going to help me with a joke book about very large, terrible lizards. I wonder if you can guess what it's about. All right, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.